Hey guys, welcome back to my channel WePlay. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the most underrated guns that are there in Escape from Tarkov. I have shortlisted the top three guns, which, according to my opinion, are the best guns or which are more the most underrated guns to use in Escape from Tarkov. When we will go ahead and we'll discuss that in this video ahead. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. The first gun that we're going to have a look at is the MPX, which is an SMG class gun. And I think this is one of the most underrated guns as it has very re less recoil in this particular gun. And you can modify this gun to make it even better and make it an absolute laser as well. So I will show you exactly what are the parts that I've used. So this is the MPX right here. So I've used the Nora Arms Graal Pistol Grip from Peacekeeper. Then I've used the PMM Stock from Peacekeeper again. Now to reduce the recoil, I've used the 14 inch barrel for the MPX. Then I've used the EOTech Holographic Sight. You can actually use any sight that you want. Then I've used the Lancer 14 inch foregrip from Mechanic. Then comes the Silencerioco Suppressor from Mechanic for 20,000 rubles. Then I've used the Glock Tactical Flashlight with Laser from Mechanic. Then is the Zenith RK1 foregrip to reduce the recoil even more. So the total stats on the build is recoil 23, ergonomics 52. And the total cost on the build is 130,000 rubles. So yeah, according to the other builds which I've made of the MPX, this is the most expensive build that is there on the MPX. But this reduces the recoil far down below to 23, which is the lowest that I have found in the MPX build that I have made so far. So this is an absolute laser in front of PMCs or scavs that you come across. And as I'm using the AP bullets, which have become more cheap, because of the new uh, bullets that have been introduced, which is the 7 and 31. Most of the time, those bullets are not available in the flea market or on the traders. Because of which, the AP bullets, which I am using, has gone down in price as well. So, I am, I am able to shred PMCs and scavs as well, as you all can see in this uh, short video. And I've been using the 50 round magazine and the 41 round magazine as well, which because of the high fire rate on the MPX, I do need to use the high capacity magazines on these guns. Because if I use the 30 round magazine, it will get over pretty quick. Hence, I'm using these kind of magazines in this build. As you all can see that I am killing scavs left, right and center but the recoil on this gun is absolute laser and it does not move an inch as I am only doing hip fires and I am not even aiming down the sights. So this gun is absolutely one of my favorites of these builds which I have made and you can kill any enemy really fast because of the high fire rate on the gun. The only thing uh, that I find is the downside to this gun is that you will need to pack a lot of bullets or a lot of mags you will need to take down or you will need to take in raid because the bullets get over really fast and if you are taking them in your secure container it will take a long time to reload them. So let's go ahead and move on to the next gun. The so next gun we are going to have a look at is the AK-74N. And the reason why I'm using this gun is because of the stock which I've used onto this gun, which reduces the recoil a lot more. So I will show you what are the parts that I've used in this build. So over here, I've used the CMRD Keymon handguard from Mechanic. 
then I've used the Zukov stock which reduces the recoil from minus 44. I've used the Monstrum Compact Prism Scope. You can use any scope that you like. Then I've used the Fab Defense Dust Cover for the side to be on to the gun. I've used the Holosun LS321 Tactical Device as it is one of my favorites. Then I've used the Fortis Shift Tactical Grip from Peacekeeper. Then I've used the PWS Muzzle Brake from Skier as it reduces recoil as well. And then the Zenith RK3 AK Pistol Grip to increase the ergonomics. So total stats on the build is recoil 52, ergonomics 67. And the total cost on the build is 150,000 rubles. So yes, this is one of the most expensive AKs that I have made. Not really the most expensive, but in the budget segment, it is expensive to use a gun for 150,000 rubles. But it is also very effective. As you all can see, it can take down scavs if you are using the correct bullet or you can use even the BT bullets to take down the scavs or good amount of PMCs as well. But I would recommend to use the BS bullets in this scenario as you can come across heavily geared PMCs and the BS bullets are far effective rather than the BT bullets in this point of, this, of the wipe. So this gun is also very effective as you can use the 60 round magazine and the 30 round magazine. And the 60 round magazine does reduce the ergonomics of the gun, but it is uh, quite an improvement over the 30 round magazine if you use it with this particular build. As it does not really affect the ergonomics so much, you can really use this gun to the fullest potential and take down multiple scavs at once using that 60 round magazine. The only downside of this gun that I found is the fire rate onto the gun. The fire rate of this gun is really slow as compared to the other ones. But it really takes down uh, heavily guarded PMCs as well and uh, scav bosses as such. So I would really use this uh, gun in the mid to end tire game. And we will go ahead and move on to the next and the last one in the build, which is this one. This is the RPK-16, which you usually find on Killer. So I've used this gun because of the high fire rate this gun has. And I will show you what other parts I've used. So this is the RPK-16. I've used the 22 inch barrel to reduce the recoil onto the gun. Then I've used the RK-1 foregrip again for recoil then is the holosun ls321 tactical device then i've used the eotech holographic sight but you can use any sight that you require then is the zenith rk3 ak pistol grip from skier then comes the muzzle brake pws from skier as it reduces recoil even further I've used the MFT bus stop as this is the one that reduces the recoil the most. Then I've used the buffer tube to attach the stock onto the gun from mechanic. So the total stats on the build is recoil 41, ergonomics 49. And the total cost on the build is only 100,000 rubles. The reason this gun is so cheap is because you just need to attach the 22 inch barrel the RK1 foregrip and the PWS muzzle brake onto the gun in order for it to reduce the recoil the best it can in the game. And as it is a light machine gun, the, uh, the fire rate onto the gun is really good as well. As you all can see that I have used this gun in order to take down the scav boss guards and the scav boss as well. And it has a 60 round magazine capacity and a 30 round magazine capacity which is really nice as well as you can use this gun to kill multiple enemies at once. So I really like this build and it is not that expensive to run as well. And I really love the recoil control onto the gun which is available which is quite nice. You can acquire this gun from Killer after killing him on interchange as well. 
and this is these are one of the best guns that i found on escape from tarkov if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel for more guide videos if you have any questions regarding any of the guns that i've used you can write them down in the comment section below and i will see you in the next one